Hello everyone, my name is Mohamed Kurbatli. I have an MBA from the USA and I received my CMA designation in 2012. I'm making these videos to introduce you to the CMA program and help you prepare for it. So let's get down to business. What is the CMA? Well, CMA stands for Certified Management Accountant. This designation, this test, this certification is sponsored by the IMA. This is the Institute of Management Accountants and it's headquartered in the United States. According to their website, this uh, certification is appropriate for accountants and financial professionals in business. It helps you acquire certain skills that are really in demand in these two fields and in management positions in general. And these skills are financial planning, analysis, control, decision support, and professional ethics. Now this makes the CMA appropriate for people, again, who want to work in accounting, uh, finance, or general management positions in general. Now why is that so? Why should you consider taking the CMA even if you don't want to work in accounting or finance? Well, I would say because accounting and finance are cornerstones in any MBA program. Anybody who has studied MBA um, has uh, studied accounting and finance. And really, these uh, having skills in accounting and finance is very important to any manager nowadays to understand reports that he or she receives about the performance of his unit or division and to plan and present plans to top management for approval. You really need to be a, um, um, pretty skillful in these two fields. In addition, um, preparing for the CMA and getting it demonstrates that your English is very good that uh, it's so good that you can actually work for an international company so that's uh, if that's your goal switching from a local company to an international company and to show that you are ready to do this uh, then you should consider taking the CMA okay so how is the test organized well uh, the CMA has two parts the first part is titled financial reporting planning performance and control now this part is actually focused on financial accounting and management accounting the coverage of management accounting is more in-depth and uh, covers more like 75 percent of the of part one whereas financial accounting covers only 25 percent I would say in general the second part is uh, called financial decision making. This is really financial management, basically, what you study, the same stuff you study in a college level uh, financial management course. And advanced, both basic and advanced, really. Okay, so each part is tested um, in a four hour test. Uh, the test is computerized. All the questions are answered on the computer. And this includes 100 multiple choice questions. That takes three hours. And then you have one hour. And you need to answer two scenario, uh, two essay scenario questions. Here you have to answer uh, both quantitative and qualitative questions. So you will be analyzing and writing your analysis. And uh, you'll be typing this on the computer. So you really need to think about that. Okay. Um, how much time and effort is this equivalent to? I would say each one of these two parts is equivalent to two courses in college. So the whole program is a little bit less than one semester. Okay, is there any assumed knowledge for this? Well, yes. Uh, you need to have studied uh, financial accounting, basically principles of financial accounting. You need to be familiar with concepts such as the accounting equation, how to analyze and record basic transactions, uh, debits and credits, uh, that sort of thing, general uh, journalizing transactions, posting them, uh, and so on. And then preparing basic financial statements. So this is really important. We will do a review of some of the concepts here, but this is really something you need to have seen before to do well in uh, this certification. Okay, my next video will uh, get right into part uh, one of the program and give you an overview uh, of it. Uh, see you then. Thank you very much.